So, hey guys, Chauzy here. This will be my final video ahead of the official start of the anniversary. Actually, at this very moment, the 10 times Annie ship has actually started on JP because it's officially any day there. Uh, not live on global yet though. So we have to wait half a day more or so. Anyway, <clears throat> in this video, we'll be covering the final legend I haven't talked about, which is the new ace. And I have to be real with you. Like, I think the unit is incredibly strong. Uh, and I rate him very highly, like his unique abilities. But let me just talk about the art. I don't do that often, but like I'm just against stuff like this. Like I don't like when they take like non-canon stuff, what ifs, fun stuff. Well, I guess it should be fun, some bit of a uh, kill joy, I guess, but. I'm not a big fan of taking those stuff and making them legends. It should be like special rare recruits or something, in my opinion, like World Journey back in the day. So, in my opinion, this shouldn't be a legend at all. But this like takes it up to 11. Like, not only is it a legend, it's a legend in like the biggest event in One Piece Trash Cruise history. Like, it makes no sense how Banner are like, yeah, we're going to do the Luffy with Kid and Law around him. And we're going to do all of the four Emperors together. And we're going to do Ace, Luffy and Sabo cosplaying. <laughs> how did they get there? Like how? I guess Luffy is in all of the artworks and that's part of it, but I'm sure they could have done something else if they had to do Luffy, Ace and Sabo. I'll stop there, but that's what I think. And in the end, art is just one part of the unit I care more about what they actually do, how interesting they are. So yeah, <clears throat> let's do a breakdown of Ace in PvE. And Ace is a Dex Shooter Free Spirit. And it's really cool to get some shooter love. It's not often they get them in these big celebrations. So that's definitely a plus I'm very happy with. At the same time, we have the other end of the coin by Having shoot to take up one of the classes, it does mean it is a bit of a waste since in terms of viability, like shooter is one of the four worst classes in the game. So it does bring Ace down, but of course he also has free spirit, which is still the best class that more than enough compensates it. So yeah. Uh, Lay Ace has a rush. He has an uh, increase and Increased damage taken, or provoke, I think we call this one. He has the barrier pierce, and it's a perfect one for once. For once, Pan, I did it right. It should always be like this for legends. And yeah, we'll talk about the rush later. Let's start with the captain. And Ace, we start with his unique ability Dex, Shooter, and Free Spirit get their CD reduced by 50%. and this is incredibly OP. Like, let's take like worst case scenario, like one of the lowest CDs you can have is six. If you are a six CD unit, you get minus three CD from this. So like minus three is like the minimum CD you can give, basically. If we take Ace himself, he's 15, 16 with our key, and it doesn't really matter if he's captain. 16 and 15 get the same CD. You, Ace is an eight CD legend, like, just hear that, like, we have an OP legend who is 8 CD if he's captain, like, and if we have insane stuff, like this 40 CD, that can happen, they become 20 CD, that dumb Orochi rare group with, like, 30 CD becomes 15, like, I think it's from the force it becomes 12, but you hear, like, it's a big deal, so that's a very cool, unique ability that will keep Ace very much relevant in all kinds of content to let you use non-boosted units in stuff like Treshmer, for example. Speed up parking adventures, like lots of applications. Uh, 
1.35 times HP, 6 times attack for deck shooter free spirit. If you keep hitting perfects, you get up to 6.25 times attack eventually. No, it's not, it's defeated enemies in previous turns. So it's not the best ability, like in terms of attack power, it's the worst by a small margin. But yeah, it's not that big difference, I'd say. Other character gets 4.5 times attack, makes index side tandem matching, which is very nice, not gonna lie. Lots of matching orbs. And reduces special reverse by 10 turns. So not only is this ace the best Spearon Captain in the game, he also do doesn't let the enemies counter that with special reverse. So yeah, he's definitely pretty crazy in that regard. If you use a special to boost orbs, you extend it by one turn. Of course, Ace himself does orb boost for two turns. You can get a three turn orb boost. And if character is the captain, and again, only captain, not friend captain. And you use his action special. And you do the excellent, you get the 6.5 times attack boost instead for Dex Shooter Free Spirit. So yeah, super cool captain, best speedrun captain. We have the utility, big damage, lots of matching orbs. What's not to like? And if we look at, uh, we can do the EX first. Uh, this EX, definitely better than Luffy's EX. Uh, not as good as Shanks, but a bit in with between. I'd lean towards pretty good though, I definitely say. You only need two, which helps a lot. And there's good units here. We have Luffy, Sabo, Gark. There's some, not many. Lots of good Rogers, some good Whitebeard. A few good Marco, Iso, lots of good Yamato. And then we have Otama and all of his jobbers. And there's some units with them, but probably won't happen. But should definitely be able to make a good team with two of these units most of the time. And his EX reduces CD by one turn. Uh, if it's, and then, like the others, he changes the first class of units to Fighter or Cerebral. And this is all, so you can use the batch together. But it does open up to use Ace with some units you might not expect. So it will be important for all of these any units to really think about like what are the potential units we can actually run. He also boosts Dex, Shoot and Free Spirit character attack by 2.5 times for 2 turns. And you get Super Shooter and Super Free Spirit. So yeah, it's very solid. And I do... One cool thing with this Ace is of course that... And it can handle both the attack boost and or boost, and that's usually more valuable than giving color affinity. So as a standalone unit, he is a bit more valuable in that regard. Obviously, he can do a three-turn or boost and do a two-turn attack boost, so can't really use together for two stages, but still a good option. I'll talk a bit more about the seed reduction later, because in the action special, Ace can also reduce CD by one turn. He also reduces Paralysis by 10 turns, reduces Damage Nullification for 3 turns, and he also changes slots including Block to Dex. I incorrectly said only Shanks had Orb on it, but obviously Dex uh, Ace also has it. Uh, and if you already have an Orb Boost, you get a Self-Proc Ignite Conditional, aka Burn, that ignores full immunity 2.75 times for 2 turns, very strong. But obviously you prefer to get Aces big up to four times or boost, which is just insane. <clears throat> but of course you can maybe run two A's and you can get both. Like it is an option. It is an option. Uh, he also further boosts the effect of Call of Infinity boost by 1.5 times. So yeah, just like the, everybody else, they help in both attack, orb and call of Infinity, which is really cool. Now, for the first time, I want to talk a bit negatives about this unit. First, it's about all of the seed reduction, because as we've already stated, this ace is a master at speedrunning. You really don't need any more speed at all, really. And you can't even use like the EX, for example, to counter special reverse, because ace is immune to it. So, like, these seed reduction, at least as captain, they don't help a lot, barely anything, super niche. So I prefer to have anything else than seed reduction in the EX Super and Special. 
It just doesn't fit the kit a lot. And my other problem is that in terms of utility, I'd say this ace is definitely the worst of the bunch. Because as said, the seed reduction, basically useless. Paralysis, good, but still one of the more manageable debuffs to remove. You rarely get a lot of paralysis, lots of support to handle it. Uh, and damage notification sure is nice to handle it, but it's still one of the rarer debuffs to handle. So I just don't feel like the Aces utility will see that much use. And long term that's a big negative for units since utility in specials and captain are getting more and more important all of the time. But yeah, that's a minor negative in the grand scheme of things. This ace will definitely be really good in PvE thanks to his being free spirit and having that insane four times or boost and that speedrun captain and being able to give attack boost or boost buff cost like yeah he's pretty insane still as for the rush i'll just summarize what i've been saying for the others like ace can only use this final battle uh, you need two of the following on the crew and it's the same for the ex so if you build for ex you build for the rush and basically the way it works is if you use the the first, the first rush, when you tap on the first, you get a rush that is similar to the OG rush Sanji's. So you help build up the chain, buff the attack of others, stuff like that. But if you hit last, like with 6 plus gear 5 Luffy, instead you hit incredibly hard. It's basically the same damage as gear 5 Luffy with the negative that you don't hit against color effectiveness, but still going to be some insane damage. And as always, I want to note that with Rush, it's very little difference between level 1 and level 5. As you see with the finish tap here, for example, it's 3. That's the damage you'll do in the end. And level 1 is 2.5. So very little difference. Don't feel pressured to rainbow these units unless you want to. Uh, crewmates, which is a special heroes by 10 turns. Takes 10 matching. Very good. And reduces the speed as a sub too. Like the other new Super Sugos, this is one of the best crewmates, so we take it. Uh, support uh, lets you buff Call of Infinity boost by 1.2 times if they do a Call of Infinity special. So, yeah, this will definitely see use. Uh, all of these supports they get are great. Like, it's just hard to think about examples, but for example, we One Roger can give three turns Call of Infinity. This support can buff that, for example. Anyway, let's look at some units to use together with Ace. Potential partners, as I like to call it. And yeah, I started with some Dex units. And yeah, I felt like it was a bit lacking. Like, Yamato Ace, pretty good one. I just need to remember their debuffs. But he had resist bind, special bind, good combo with special reverse. Obviously also a help with speed with Ace's speedrun captain. You can get an attack boost here, which I guess Ace does too. But you can save this for final stage, also get that burn conditional. Might need to stall a bit for the super swap, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Nami Robin can also do an attack with final stage, can help with one orbs with Nami as captain. Shanks Buggy can give you three turns of color affinity that Ace can then buff, which is interesting. Don't think I need to talk much about Soro Sanji. They are definitely the best with Ace of the new batch since Ace only buffs color affinity buff. So this means Soro Sanji special gets its full power. Basically, you can buff. Ace's attack boost and ore boost and give all of the shame buffs. Nothing goes to waste with Soro Sanji here. Also, potentially set up the tandem since you probably use a Luffy for Ace and a Wazel. And then we have Cat. Yeah, can give an attack boost, final stage potentially, ignore defensive effects. You know what Cat does. Uh, then I put some shooters. Shang's crew speaks for itself. Special Bind Removal goes well with the Special Reverse Resist. Uta is actually really good here. Like the attack has some overlap, but you resist Special Bind, resist the Spear, give big attack boost, conditional final stage. Good combo with Shanks and Ace, so that's pretty funny. 
ISO, like there's not a lot of great shooter caps. Another one is Lockeroo Ben Beckman, but yeah, they can help with defensive effects. That's cool since Ace doesn't handle that. And then they just put some good stuff shooters. I think Kisar is the better one since he gives a good call affinity uh, that Ace can buff later. Free Spirit, more options of course, a lot of them end up being Psy. But yeah, Roger, as already said, Ace can buff his call affinity, he can also extend the ore boost, not really needed, but he can also apply an attack boost one stage. Gear 5 Luffy attack with everybody, but the cool thing of course with Gear 5 Luffy is that he allows the full batch to work together with rainbow specials. So you can set up at least two six times buff, which is insane, of course. Nami also pretty straightforward, getting a conditional base attack chain like buffs that Ace doesn't do. Sabu also nice, also for the EX, good utility, can even remove special bind as captain potentially. And Yamato, we have the bind resist, we have the attack boost, damage reduction attack boost, yeah. Solid option, Ace helps speed Yamato up as well. And then to end this, we have some potential EX partners. Uh, we have some Luffy, Sabo, Roger and Whitebeard here. I think that Whitebeard is pretty fun actually. Good end of turn wave clearer, but yeah, he had low CD, but of course with Ace now he <laughs> becomes very usable. And then we have some others, uh, the V1 Yamato 6 Plus going to be really good. Finally, that Jobber unit will also be nice. I'm pretty sure it's the Color Affinity one. Tell me I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Uh, sadly, only for Cyan Quick, which I overlooked. Yikes. But they can be used with Ace at least, if you don't want to get any Color Affinity for Ace. And we have Tama, Legend Tama, obviously they are a lot better, but I don't have her yet. Probably should get her now with Ace since, yeah, Tama is pretty good, the Legend Tama. So yeah, that's some potential partners. Let's end by talking about PvP, and I dare say Ace is easily the best one in PvP. So we can actually talk a bit about him, I guess. So Ace is dex focused and he's attack up level 6, death up level 6, HP up level 6, speed up level 6 and if you have Luffy, Sub or Garp, special CD speed up level 3 and yeah. <laughs> is this like the first perfect Rommel ability? Like what even lacks here? Like crit? Maybe guard? Like, this is basically all you need. The only negative is that the special CT speed up is just level 3. Like, but you get everything else. Like, there's literally nothing to complain about. Like, it's a perfect rumble ability. So that does help if the special is not as good. But the special is pretty good. Just 36 CT is unfortunate, of course. If Luffy, Sub, or Garp is on the team... You target yourself for attack up level 5, speed up level 5. It's unfortunate that it's just yourself. Uh, you target all enemies for death on level 7. That's nice though since it's guaranteed for everybody. And you hit 2 enemies with low HP for 4 times attack up to 2 times. So it's nice that you target low enemies since it means you can easily pick off weaker units to get rid of them. So I don't think that's worthless, but... This ace is heavily carried by a perfect rumble ability and I'm still not sure if this ace really changes things for decks. It still feels like they are a bit too passive, they lack that really OP damage dealer and ace just isn't it in that case. But I don't see a reality when he doesn't fit on the extremes at least. That should be a given, I feel like. GP. Uh, Dex, Fighter, Shooter, Free Spirit, so that's so nice a range of teams you can build. Uh, as for the burst, time-based, and yeah, I think the effect speaks for itself. Ace isn't good in Grand Party, that's pretty, basically useless, I'd say, even if you use it four times. But yeah, overall, excited for Ace, and I guess I'll 
rank these four legends to end this little series. And after considering them again, I'd go with Shanks as number one, closely followed by Ace and Roger. I can't really separate them. And then after that, we have a bit of a gap to Luffy. My opinion on Luffy has gone down, to be honest. But he does have that uh, synergy with Pudding and uh, Lilith I talked about. And that could be really damn cool to make use of. So we'll see about that later. But yeah. Now I'm going to completely let go of OPTC for quite a few hours. I'm going to go take a shower, I'm going to uh, pack, pack down my stream equipment, then I'm just going to chill, watch the Eurovision final, and after Eurovision final, I'm going to start the 10th Annie Hype. I'll hopefully be streaming it, but we'll see how tired I am after 2 a.m. in the night, so yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.